Hey, welcome back. I am so excited to show you this recipe. Summer is almost here. And I don't know about you, but I don't like slaving over a hot stove. And that's one of the things that makes this recipe delicious and wonderful. It's no cook, literally. So what I've got here is one half of a bar of Philadelphia brand cream cheese. I've let it come to room temperature, but you can just nuke it for five minutes. Uh, sorry, 10 seconds in the microwave. <laughs> five minutes would be a little long. So I'm gonna put that in the food processor along with one half a cup of sour cream. This is a deceptively rich recipe that it will fill you up. It doesn't look like a lot of food, but it hits the spot. One half a cup of good old store-bought mayonnaise goes in. Okay. Then we're going to add to that the juice of half a lemon, a teaspoon and a half of dried dill, and one clove garlic. Press it right in there. Whoops. <laughs> He's trying to get away. That's not allowed. All right, let's get him ready to go. And then in it goes into the mixture. And all right, now we're going to take it for a little spin in the processor. Just, just until everything is combined and is a nice spreading or spooning texture. Okay, so that's done. Now we're going to get the blade out carefully, of course, because you don't want to lose a finger. That would be bad. <laughs> All right, get that out. And what we're going to add now is one half a pound of salad shrimp. Now you can get these at your local deli right there in the seafood section, or you can buy the canned ones, about a can or two cans worth. Uh, in the um, in the canned seafood aisle, just rinse and drain them first. So we're going to mix in the shrimp in this bowl right here. And what I've got ready to roll, I've cut some avocados in half and I've placed them in lemon juice on a dish so they won't brown on me. So what you do then is you spoon this mixture into the avocado halves. Now you can let it overflow and run down the sides. It looks really nice. And I usually, if they're small little avocados like this one, I usually give about two per serving. But it doesn't look like a lot, but it's very, very rich. That Philadelphia brand cream cheese just gives it this nice, smooth texture. And what I like to do to plate it is to put it on a nice, clear glass plate with perhaps some lemon curls that I've just snipped and laid on the plate ever so nicely. And then perhaps a final sprinkle uh, some dill weed, some more dried dill. So just on top, just like that. And there you have it, Philly shrimp and avocado boats. Thanks. See you soon, hopefully in Savannah. <laughs>